So you want to be a ninja badass and throw shurikens into people's butts and stab them in their faces? Well, Genji is your cyborg man and uh, Overwatch is your game. I'm Chris Waters here with Mike Mahardy to talk you through this tricky character. Uh, definitely, you'll see a lot of him giving you a lot of trouble. It's going to make you want to play him. Here's how to do it, Mike. Genji's a ninja, so play like a ninja. Stay mobile, but be patient. A lot of his abilities rely on you using them correctly in terms of timing. You don't want to deflect bullets when no one's shooting at you. There's nothing to deflect. You don't want to dash at someone and miss with your sword and not recharge the attack. There's a lot of nuance to this character. He's tough. But once you start mastering him, people are going to hate you. Yeah, tough in terms of uh, he can be a real force to be reckoned with, not in terms of health. He's a real squishy dude. So hit and run is definitely the strategy. Just because you're sort of focusing in on one enemy doesn't mean you have to kill them in the first engagement. Do some damage, dart away, know where a health pack is, or just disorient them as to where you're going to show up next to, and then hit them again. And here's how you're going to be hitting them. First off, you got your shuriken. One, your primary fire shoots three straight in a line. The other spreads them out. Pretty simple difference here. One is good for distance and one is good for close up. Yeah, and also the three the three round burst is better for one character. And then the spread is good for tanks up close because you can hit all three right away without aiming as much. But it's also good against groups if you're just trying to thin out the horde. And the straight line, they stay accurate at a distance. So if there's a turret or a sniper that's unaware of your position, throw some shurikens at them because one of your biggest roles is to harry the enemy and to make them wonder where you are and where you're gonna strike from next. If you're chipping away at a turret that doesn't see you, cool. If you are chipping away at a turret that does see you, you are in danger of getting melted down by a bastion real quick. This is where some tricky deflection can come into play. The deflection is probably his most important ability. Not only can it protect you, but it can also just turn people's attacks back on them. And there's also a few second gap between when you start and end, so you don't always have to time it perfectly, but it still helps to know when they're going to attack and be patient and wait for it so you can fling an arrow back at Hanzo or get a headshot right back at Widowmaker's face. Yep, I think the best way to start using it is when you're expecting some burst damage. So that's from a McCree that happens to get close to you. That's from a Bastion. You could even bait a Bastion, you know, throw three shurikens in, you see it turn and face you, and then you dodge away. Step back into the line of fire. It will deflect wherever your reticle's aiming. So whether that's back at Bastion or at the support who's healing Bastion, take your pick, aim right, and you can really mess him up. And you can also deflect ultimates. So if Zarya happens to shoot a Graviton surge into your group and your group is like, oh shit, we're going to be sucked in together. No, you can deflect that and then the other group gets sucked in and then you guys can kill them. You can also deflect Hanzo's Dragon Strike arrow before the dragons come out if you time it well and it'll shoot them right back at his brother. Those are feats of timing and again, back to that high skill ceiling that Genji has. But, you know, when you're first starting out working out your Genji skills, what you're going to use mostly as a weapon is your mobility because you can climb up walls to get to places where people don't see you. If you're in an engagement, you can double jump. The second jump is not big, but it's enough to disorient an enemy who's picturing your trajectory going one way and you make it go another. Disorientation, hitting and then running, this is like the great way to play Genji. And it does, like you said, Mike, require patience. And that's the thing with his dashing strike too. It also, if you kill them with it, it'll recharge right away and you'll have it ready to rock again. This dash is really important because not only does it let you cross gaps that you might not otherwise be able to close the gap to enemies who are harrying or who you want to focus down on, but it also, yeah, if it kills, it resets immediately. So you start to think of Genji in terms of combos of shuriken throws, swift strikes, and then also the quick melee attack. Genji is so good at chipping down very quickly. Make that quick melee uh, attack part of your repertoire. I haven't been using it a ton with other characters. With Genji, it can really make the difference in one of his encounters. It's also really great for flanking an opponent. So if you're staring him in the face, say a Reinhardt, you can use that, get a little damage on him, but you're also behind a shield when you turn around. Finally, his ultimate, the Dragon Blade, pretty self-explanatory. He pulls out a giant sword and starts chopping people up. You want to target supports and people who are squishier, so you're not wasting a lot of strikes on a maybe a, a heavy health tank, but also keep in mind that you can do your swift strike and you can do your deflect in this mode as well. The swift strike especially is key to moving around, causing chaos and chopping everyone to bits. It's also worth noting that you might want to initiate this right before you enter the fray, because if you do it in the middle, again, you're a squishy guy, you could be killed and wasted. Do it like around a corner, then come in, start taking out the Lucios, start taking out the Reinhardts that are blocking the objective. Focus on really what your plan is, and again, be patient, time it, and know what you're going to do. And that's the way you get into Genji, folks. Hopefully this guide gets you on your way to being the ninja badass you've always dreamed of. For more Overwatch Hero Guides, keep it tuned to GameSpot and subscribe.